you know, how you have So we get underway. Now we've seen upsets throughout the day here, Jeff, but um, I don't think anyone would have picked Alan Zarnoff for the final here. No, but one thing that we saw earlier in the day, he's very comfortable on his side of the piece. He has no problem retreating back into that two meter zone there. Pop there on the on the wrist. He got popped there on the wrist again. I suppose he's perhaps uh, one of the fences that was on the best form prior to uh, the world shutting down. And it's the Budapest. World Champion from 2019, so reigning World Champion. He won the Heidenheim World Cup in 2020. And uh, took a bronze at the Paris World Cup in uh, 2019, so he was on a bit of a run. Uh, looks like a year off hasn't really made too much difference either, because uh, whatever happens he's going to get a bronze medal here. Nice attack there by Alam Zhanov. After he got hit twice on the wrist, he says, okay, it's time to pick pick up the pace a little bit here. He's been much busier on the feet, the feints. and the score is tied. with an advantage there and was able to find the blade and score. Watch him take the blade. Right there he took the blade in four and hits to the back. And it was an interesting angle there because Alam Zhanov was on one side of the piece. So close he had a great angle from the other side. That, that certainly helped him score that touch. It's a nice hit. So underneath the hand. A little fist pump by Alam Zhanov. Feels good to do that. Feels horrible when it's done to you. Oh, look at that. As I said, feels horrible when it gets done to you. So that's three touches on the wrist out of four for Soklosi. around here either they are definitely gonna battle this one out time it runs out in the first period and uh, a very intriguing battle here between these two. Uh, Siklosi definitely had the upper hand at the beginning and Zanoff has fought his way back into level and Siklosi's just picked up a little hit at the end to uh, go into the break with the lead. I don't really see this changing too much. I think these two are going to carry on going toe-to-toe -to -toe in the middle of the piece. Toe-to-toe -to -toe is it. There's no cat and mouse. There's no feeling out here. I mean these guys on every action are going for it. A very exciting, exciting bout and look for that to continue. 
But as it does continue, would you agree that it's uh, going to be much more in the favour of Ciclosi uh, to take this one? I think so far, but the bottom line is it seems like he's sort of controlling the bout, but it's, it's, one, it's only one touch differential. So I think it's up for Al Alonjanov to be maybe a little bit more aggressive, maybe try to provoke Ciclosi, try to draw him out. He has not done that yet. Right. Well, it uh, looks like they're all but ready to come back to the piece. Five four, as you can see, Gergely closely the reigning champion, holding the lead as we start the second period. Semi-final number two. Finally, Almjanov was able to get into Ciclosi's distance there. Uh, Ciclosi's been keeping great distance. He's a little taller, he's a little bit longer. Very nice. And as I said earlier, the key, I think, for Alamjanov is to try to draw Ciclosi out. This is the first time Ciclosi committed himself like this, got parried and riposte with a counter six riposte. Yeah, and uh, using the width of the piece as well to create the opening. You mentioned that earlier on about the piece width being used and pronation of the wrist to create an mm -hmm. angle. Uh, Alamjanov well, disappeared off to the left-hand side of the piece. If I'm Al Alamjanov, I'm watching my wrist right now because the close is going to be trying again either with a feint or a touch. Been very successful with that. Explosive, lightning quick attack to the toe by Alamjanov. And just like that, he's up 7 5, Karim. Alright, it's all changed around here. Yeah. I knew that they were going to go toe to toe with each other. And you hear from the Hungarian side, yo, which means yes, because he hit them on the wrist again, which on the arm right there, on the forearm. Watch the action here. So close he's pushing and just scores the straight attack. Alan Jonathan's asking to have the blade tested just to make sure it works. Hoping for a bit of luck, I think that. Maybe. Maybe. That's seven seven. Another change of momentum. Just not letting up these two. I mean, they, 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 it's like uh, 
game of basketball. One goes and scores a, a basket, and then it switches over to the other one, just like that. Yeah, it's really, it's like a prize fight where two guys, and there's no defense. Let's just go for it. It's great fencing. Alam Janov with a nice attack to the arm there. Time's going to run out just like that. That three-minute period went so fast. It, it really didn't feel like three minutes at all, Jeff. Very entertaining. That's why it was. It was great. It's very bombastic footwork. Um, both fencers. Touches to the toes. Touches to the wrist. Touches to the arms. Yeah, we can see a few of them here, but Amzanov drawing level early doors. That was a, a very creative hit using the width of the piece. To, yes. Uh, to to make it. And just when you think Alan Zarnoff's going to sneak away and build up an even bigger lead, back comes Gurgly Siklosi uh, to level things up at seven apiece. And then, well, Alan Zarnoff says, well, it's my turn to play ball now, so uh, I'll take the lead. Couldn't ask for a tighter match. So that's the one where you said that maybe he was a little bit lucky because it looked like Alan Zarnoff had a chance there and missed. He was a little bit ahead of Siklosi on that one. Yeah. But 8-7 is the score here as we go into the third and final period of the second men's semi who is going to join Igor Reislin in the final here at the Kazan Epe World Cup. You know, Karim, there are baseball games in the United States that have lots of runs being scored and there are some that are pitcher's duels. This is not a pitcher's duel. This is a lot of runs being scored, back and forth. What's baseball? I've never heard of it. So Kosey perhaps a little bit more creative than he has been throughout the match. Just trying to draw a hit to the foot. Getting out of the way super quick when he didn't land it. I think pressing the distance, closing too much. And uh, in the end, Adam Zarnoff ran out of space to go backwards. So he had no choice but to, to make a counteraction. As we've seen all day, Al Janoff is really comfortable at his end of the piece there. He doesn't feel like he's at risk. He's comfortable. Some fencers are less comfortable there. He sets up shop back there like this. And it's not always the best tactic, but for him it works. He's going... <laughs> yeah. You know, I think that fist pump might have been for you, Jeff. If viewers at home will... We'll probably about four meters away, five meters away from uh, the piece. Maybe just a little bit more, eight meters, but they can absolutely hear everything that we say. You think so? Oh, yes. Even the way I talk so quietly? Oh, they can hear you. Okay. Yes, the fist bump was for you. And that is a lovely hit as well. It's yeah, simply amazing how um, in the middle of the piece, so close, he was having better uh, results. And at that side, Alam Janov is very comfortable. He's outscored everyone he fenced today when he went back into his two-meter zone there. Again. Well, we're back into the doubles being a friend of only one of the fencers here. A little bit static on his feet that time, gurgly closely. That's being very hypercritical, I have to say. He's changing that weapon because it had a little bend in the in the blade, a little kink that you're unable to get out. Sometimes you're able to fix it and it feels just right, but if you can't get that little kink out, it's time to go to blade number two, which he's done. Weapon number two. Zhanov well, hasn't taken a World Cup medal since 2012, nine years ago. Uh, took his first Asian medal in 2008. And won the gold medal on the Asian Championships in 2013. But it's been a long while since uh, Almir Amjanov has been on the podium and it's looking more it's likely hard. now that he's going to be competing for the gold medal here. It's really hard to believe that it's been that long because he's been so impressive all day. Yep, he certainly has. Not over yet. So close he probably needs another touch to the wrist here to get into Alan Janov's head a little bit. No need to rush though, that's for sure. Nope.
And I think that's what we're going to see from Adam Zarnoff. He's not going to allow uh, Gergely Sikosi to uh, to boss this at the end of the fight. At first blush, I thought Adam Zarnoff really attacked from way out of distance and was a dead duck. Um, but he was able to get the double out of it. So I'm sure it's probably something he had planned, as you said. Well, a little bit more direct now. Not necessarily in terms of the technical action, but uh, just getting on with the job. So close it. So he knows that Adam Zarnoff stretched out and a bit of a punch of the point there from uh, Adam Zarnoff. But so close he had his point in the right place. As you said, it's not over yet. And a roar of approval from his Hungarian compatriots there. Well, including his president and former world-class international capital, Bochko. Desperately trying to find that hit around the wrist again. Ah, oh, and he gets it with a Ramiz just closing the distance this time. 14 apiece. But he delivered right the way through this match, going one way and then t'other. We thought that Adam Zarnoff had done enough to finish it off. Oh my! But a single light in the end, and an absolute masterclass in coming from behind from Gurgli Siklosi. Takes it 15-14, and the referee will, of course, go and look at the video, as she must, to make sure there are no infringements. But Jeff, I didn't see anything wrong with that. No, I didn't either. It was 14-10 less than a minute to go and in a matter of seconds I mean just you, you don't see that that often so close he was able to run off those five touches and Alan Zarnoff he's a bit stunned he fenced great and he just couldn't close it well we're just gonna have a weapon check here might as well from Alan Zarnoff but I don't think nothing to lose anything make sure that Everything's attached, check to make sure that the barrel's not loose so it wasn't monkeyed with, and that's that.